and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes more channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is grinding geek which is a medium level problem and i also think it's a medium level problem if you have not solved enough number of uh, dynamic programming problem but if you have solved it's like simply same pattern same thing so i hope everyone of you might uh, would have uh, read this statement so i'm going to tell you about this in brief so we will be given an array total Oh, sorry, we will be given an array cost, which will be of integer type. And after that, we will be given int total, which will be like a total, I think, you know, a total amount of money I have. Okay. And these will be the courses cost. Like, so let's find out what we is here. So we will be given 10, like suppose 10 is the total and cost is 10, 9. So these two are the indexes of the courses, which we can buy. Okay. So I can buy this course. I can buy this course. And these are the amount, the cost, which we have to pay to geeks or geeks. Okay. But, but the point is here, if I will buy this course at cost 10, so in the next uh, day, I will be returned 90% of it. Okay. So here, if I will uh, buy it at 10 rupees, so I will get back 9 rupees the next day. Okay. So I will get back the 9 rupees next day. So I can buy this course as well because its cost is 9 and I have 9 rupees. So I can buy both the courses. So if I ask you what will be the amount left after buying these two courses. So look, I bought this at 9. So now we will find out 10% of 9 that I have to pay. And after that, other thing will be left. Okay. All right. So in this way, we have to return how many maximum courses I can buy. So here two courses are there and I can buy both. Okay. Same example is here and you can test it out by yourself. So what approach we are going to do? I think you guys might be guessing, right? So, but, but, but yeah, I've written something for you. So now let's jump on to the course section, note section for it. Okay. Note section. Okay. Grinding geek. So yeah, I think everyone might have guessed it, right? It's a zero one knapsack problem. Zero one knapsack basically means you either pick one thing or you not. So yeah, it's basically same. Either I will pick that course. If I will pick that course, I will pay the cost. Okay, and if I will not pick the uh, course, I will not pick the course, pay the cost, and I will move forward in both the cases. So, 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 but, but the point to remember here is what's the point to remember, bro? Point to remember is if the course cost is 10, okay, so we know if the course cost is 10, I will get back my 9 rupees. I will get back my 9 rupees. But the thing here is I cannot buy the course if my if I have only 9 rupees. I have to pay whole 10 rupees. But after that day, I will get back 9. But I have to pay the whole 10. Okay, so I think you guys are getting the difference here. Na? Okay, suppose. Uh, I think you guys, are, you guys have got this. So if my current total is less than the cost of I, I cannot buy it. Although I will be getting back the 90% of it. Okay. So yeah, that's it. I think let's do, do one approach. So approach here is we will write a memoized recursive function. Okay. I think uh, recursion is very, very easy if you know. And uh, yeah, we will be using that. So we will, if we will be having money, I will be having two options. Either I will take that or I will not take that course and I will move forward. And if I have no money, so what I will do, I will not take that course and I will move forward. Okay, uh, that's it. So if I will say that this is my array and I have total 10 rupees. So look, case one, if I bought 10, if I bought this at 10 room amount, so the next day I will be get back my nine. So my total will be nine at that point. Okay, okay. Now again, I want to buy that course, buy this course. So can I buy? Yeah, I have nine amount and I have to pay nine. So again, I paid this. Again, on this day, I will be returned back what? I will be returned back what? Uh, nine ka ten percent point nine. I will be I will be paying so eight point one. So can I buy this course? I cannot buy this course. Okay, I cannot buy this course. So the total course I bought is two. Okay. Similarly, if I did not buy this course, I move forward. I got this. So I I have ten rupees now. I paid ten to it and uh, one rupee I got back. Uh, like one money I already have and nine ka nine, eight point one I again got as a discount. Okay, so now again, I will come, uh, my total money is 9.1. So can I buy this course? Yeah, I can buy because 9.19. So again, I see we can buy two courses. So if you will take a good test case forward, so you can find out the difference. But I think the approach is clear. The program logic is clear. Everything is clear. So yeah, let's jump onto the code section for it. And uh, the code will help you in understanding better. Okay, but 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 before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, let's complete 600 subscribers today. Okay, all right. Okay, so first of all, let's write the recursive code for it and then I will try to memorize it. So look, I will write a function return. That function will be returning me something. Let's name the function name as anything like check. I always use check. I don't know why. So what things I will be passing? Cost, array. Next thing will be my current index that is zero at present and my total amount left. So total. Okay, the approach is pretty simple as I've already told. Static, I will be returning int, check. Here I will be having some cost. And I will be having one index and I will be having my total. Okay, right. Now, if look, my edge case will be what? If my index, if I've covered all the uh, cost courses and if I've come at the last, I will return zero. 
so red zero means i cannot pick any more course so if uh, cost dot length equal to index so i will return zero okay i think that's it that's correct that's correct till this point and if not look so now i have to i have no two options either i have money either i don't have so if my total is greater than if my total is greater than my current cost that is index so i will be having two options either to buy that course or not but if you i don't have uh, money that much money so i will come here now i have to return i cannot buy so i will move forward so check cost so look i don't buy i haven't bought this course so int plus one next index and total okay all right so but if i have money if i have money so what i am going to do look uh, so i will be having two options and i will return the maximum of that result so one like i bought that course so now total course count is one plus check okay and otherwise i haven't bought that course so it will be check and the same thing here i think you guys are getting this and uh, if i bought that course so what will be amount i will be having now so cost will be same index i will increase and now what will be the total amount i will be having can anyone tell me so look total minus what cost of i okay cost of i and i will get back what i will get back what uh, 9 into 10 no oh, sorry uh, 9 into cost of uh, index let's say uh, let's uh, write something like this 9 into cost of index by 10 okay so i will be having that much money so now let's uh, and uh, let's do this something like this okay uh, yeah that is it that is it but let me write it a bit clear so what what price i will be having for this so price let's say cost i minus 9 into cost of index Now it will be index. Okay, so cost of index minus divided by ten. Okay, uh, I, I think it's a bit correct now. So it's like this, and I will be returning instead of doing this, I will just return price. Okay, so price is what? Cost of index minus ninety percent of it. So the price is this, and uh, yeah, let's compile it. Actually, if you will see, I haven't sub solved this problem yet, so it was just a bit stuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. This bracket. I think it should get accepted now. Come on. Okay. But look, if I will try to submit it, I think it will give me time limit exceed. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, I missed one equal to it. So if my money is equal to that cost of course total money so also that and that time also i can buy so if i will run this now uh, we will be getting what we will be getting time limit exit according to me okay why because look do raise to the power n so every time i have two choices total cost is this so it's like very much now i have to memorize it so if you will see at every point of time what two things that are changing the two things that are changing are index and total so i'm going to memorize these two so how i'm going to memorize i'm going to use integer array uh, name it dp new integer i'm taking integer so that i don't have to fill with this minus one because it will automatically fill with null okay total plus one All right so uh, dp pass it here receive it this dp here okay so what what i have to do look if at any point of time my dp is populated dp is populated means index and total is not equal to null it means what it means i've already calculated the dp for this so I will not uh, again do this and I will simply return. I will not recalculate all these things and I will simply return. But but if I have not calculated it, I have to calculate and store. So at that point of time, I will just store it here and I will just store it here before returning. So yeah, that is it. And here, let me add it as DP. Let me add DP here. Let me add DP here. Let me compile this to check if I have not missed DP anywhere. Yeah, let's submit it now. So guys, I think this problem was a bit tricky, but easy problem. If you have solved DP, if you have not, I've already explained how are we solving this. So yeah, you can see I have solved this and I've got a gig bit. So my attempts were four, but 
these were now only so if you will see the submissions i haven't solved this so this was my first time okay all right so yeah that is it please uh, share your feedback into the comment section and if you want any type of guidance i have shared my top mid link with you so you can go there and book a class and yeah that is it i'm going to see you tomorrow and please subscribe the channel if you haven't keep on coding and bye